video this is my first ever ride along in a turbo k to be honest i think it's my first ever k that i've been in i don't think i've been in a k but we here with dean today he was kind enough to bring out his turbo k dean what's up man how are you I'm good, I'm good. for those of you who don't know we recently hit 25,000 subscribers we are on our way to 50,000. i need each and every one of you's help so like this video drop a comment down below and let us know where you are watching from in the world it's always interesting to see where the video makes the rounds be it australia america the uk let us know in the comments down below i'd like to hear where you are watching from dean tell us a bit more about the car how long have you had it where did you get it did you do everything yourself no so um i bought the car from a guy contained in brits i was still working abroad and uh, i saw the post and i just had to get it <laughs> so it's a fn2 type r but it has a k24 a3 swap in it so the type s motor okay i but thought it's k20 i don't even no, know no, no. it's k24 no it's a, it's 24 and then it has the k20 head so um the type r cams and stuff but the the bottom end is 2.4 so okay. it has wise go pistons in um eagle rods you may get gasket arp head studs uh thousand cc injectors it has block guard and everything um, and then yeah, e-boost your controller, on auto management, um, only boosting max 0.8 now, need to take it out but I have to change the wastegate spring. Okay. Um, so yeah, GT35 turbo, and um, so it's a good combo with the 2.4, uh, no lag, So um, and then it has a limited slip depth in as well, but the, the championship edition is limited slip depth, so okay. it's a 500 horsepower rater. So um, probably have to change that if I go up in the in the bars as well. So yeah, and uh, that's about that. Yeah. Speaking, and then, speaking about that, have you had it on the dyno before? What power is it making? I've had it on the dyno, like? but it's it differs from obviously dyno to dyno. So on the one dyno, I got two seventy seven kilowatt on point eight four, and then on another dyno, I got two fifty three. So I'm guessing it's around about in between there. But it's only obviously like I said, point eight bar ninety five fuel pump. I haven't run any mix or anything like that. So. going on on your phone yeah I hope you guys can see but we're literally monitoring everything as we're driving what's what is this tell us about yeah it. so that's the Pondato flash bro and then basically you can get that on your phone and then it can if you have all the sensors for it it can tell you the coolant temps injector durations the boosts even boost by gear and stuff you can run so basically everything you need to know intake temps coolant temps like i said yeah so it helps um, you to keep an eye on things while yeah, you're running the car yeah. make sure everything's healthy exactly and even as like a, a racetrack mode and stuff which you can switch it in and then it'll take laps and everything like that so give okay you feedback like a lap time right? yeah 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 so that's cool because i recently took my own that to smart cops for those of you who haven't seen the video um and we basically timed one lap because we were busy the whole day driving and stuff so we timed one lap and then shortly after i saw on the draggy that you now get a, a different like a third party app with the draggy that allows you to, to record your lap times and it shows you where you brake and accelerate and stuff so that's cool that it's built into your management yeah that's cool i've never seen, seen that yeah but it's pretty cool yeah, i mean on data is obviously created for one day, so it like i said the launch control <laughs> steering wheel here where you do the cruise control and stuff and uh, yeah like obviously activation with the flat foot you can even do flat foot shifting and stuff like that you have to obviously set it up so that the car was tuned by Nash Nash tuned so yeah for all your dot on each that's the guy to go to he knows his stuff he builds the graphs from the bottom up um, so that's basically that when it comes to on dot and I see you've got two buttons here. What yeah. are those for? Yeah, so they, they put the button buttons in basically uh, two solenoids. So it's low boost and high boost. So it's just to switch in between. So that's also kind of with the eBoost 2 controller, you can do the boost by gear then. So uh, you can obviously start in low boost and then as you shift gear, 
is you just push the button and as you switch it, it switch between the between the programs uh, for higher boost. So then you can boost by gear like that if you okay, want to. Yeah, so yeah. you can launch on low boost yes, and then you can exactly. press for button go over to high boost. Yes, exactly. That sounds very Which is fun. quite quite necessary. You can't just, you know, go off the line. Yeah, and launch on high yeah. boost, otherwise you're going to sit and spin. Yeah. At least you got a diff to assist with that. But yeah. Yes. I assume the plan with this was to go for a sleeper look because I see the interior is basically stock, the exterior is stock. The only thing that gives it away on the exterior is obviously the cooler peeking out in the front. Yeah. Then it's got three vents in the hood. Yeah. Three vents in the hood. And from there. Yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's pretty stock. Um, and semis up front. That's yeah, it. Yeah, the semis though. So yeah. if, if that doesn't give it away, then you for trouble. Yeah. Now, I, I must say, I do quite go for the stock loop. I, I'd like to do the Mugen wing, which I really like. Um, but I still have to do that and then, like, a few cosmetic things and then eventually I'll go for ribs and stuff. But I bought it for the performance and now I have to just, you know, focus on uh, the cosmetics. Yeah. So, yeah. But it, it, it's definitely a sleeper. Like, usually people ask, is it still NA if, it, if they don't see the cooler? Then it's like, no. Yeah, okay. because if you don't see the cooler, then there's you no indication that yeah. it's boosted. Yeah, and this shape is, let's be honest, this shape is the, it's, it's famous for being the slower, you know, type bars. So, yeah, yeah, the heavier one. Yeah, exactly. Compared to the EP3 and stuff. So, yeah. But, but and on the, in, on the interior, it's basically stock as well, except for yeah, we've got two the gauges boost. there. Yeah. And we've got the boost controllers over here. Yeah. All the buttons for the boost. That's basically it. Other than that, complete sleeper. Yeah. We're going to do a, a low boost pull then. Yeah.
we're gonna give it another try and see if the clutch will hold now I'd really like to feel what it feels like we should maybe let the cops go yeah in front of us a bit So that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one if you guys want to see more of these review videos let us know in the comments down below um, i have really been slacking with them i think we need to get back into them do a lot more of them so let us know down below if you guys want to see that i'll see you in the next one bro peace out and reflect your passion